Because we are still testing the spirit to see where Evangelist Ebukobi got it wrong. Because most people have criticized him, condemned him in everything he does. Hello, brethren. I am thankful to all of you. In fact, I can say that all of you are great. You are great humans created by God. And I am happy each time I come on here to share views, ideas, and what a view with you. I am so grateful and happy that I have you come back watching me as I speak now. But before I go on with answering the question whether or not Evangelist Ebukobi has got the Spirit of God working with him, please kindly subscribe to Kibri's Got Talent below this video on the bottom right corner. See that red subscribe button? Click on it because it's still red in yours. If the red color isn't there and the silver color, you know you have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, Go on and subscribe right away and share this video, share this video, share this video, share this video. I want this video to go viral. Share it with all your friends on all your social media platform, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube as well. Share it. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link. Share the link. I want this link to go viral so that many people will listen to the answers regarding this question okay in the recent time we have seen many people come up prophesying and they're doing wonders as well now some people have asked me both in email and the message chat to tell them whether or not evangelist Ebuka obi has got the spirit of god in him some people have reached out to me both in email and in chat, and they ask whether Evangelist Ebuka Obi has got the Spirit of God in him. Because the miracle they see has been unbelievable for some people who have witnessed miracle. That you see a man sitting where he's sitting, praying and prophesying. And this prophecy always comes with a solution. You see someone, he prophesied about his or her case. People he know nothing about. People who aren't his relative. People who aren't his friends. A man is sitting somewhere praying and prophesy. And it happened. It doesn't matter where you are. Distance is not a barrier. Once he leaves a prophecy and it happens to be you. It comes with solution. So people have wondered and wonder about this whole thing. So it has become a sort of social media saga. So his name is being carried around. Rumor carried his name around. In a negative way. Which I have come here to correct. To answer these questions. People are funny, you know. <laughs> people are funny. I know why I said this. Now, many people would always say to you, test every spirit to know whether... The spirit is of God. And I am asking most people who would always say they have tested a certain spirit and the spirit is not of God. Most people, as they are living, would never believe any miracle, any sign, no matter what you present to them. Even if God healed their special someone through a prophet, they will still never believe. They are Thomas said about in the Bible. So no matter what you come with, People who will never believe you, we never believe you. Okay, let us go straight to the point because I don't want to take much of your time. But share this link, share this link, invite your friends to come on, invite your friends to come on, let them join us here, let them listen to what I have come to say. Let them join us here, let them join us here. Now to go on with the answers. When you are talking about testing of the spirit in someone, that perform signs and wonders. However, these signs and wonders are of God. 
Anyone who perform his, which aren't of God, is then Antichrist that we are talking about today. And you talk about testing of the spirit. I have asked this in a short video I made before, in a YouTube short video I made before. How do you test the spirit of someone who performs signs and wonders, whom God is using? How do you test the spirit of someone who performs signs and wonders, of someone whom God is using? Many people would say, test their spirit, and you shall know them. But they don't know how to test their spirit. Now, biblically, because I believe I'm talking to those who believe in Christ. I believe I'm talking to those who believe in God. I believe I'm talking to those who believe that they have creator who created them. I'm talking to those who believe that they are creatures. I'm talking to those who believe that if not for God, they wouldn't be alive today. So if you are one of those in the category that I've mentioned, who believe that they are resistant of God, now I will take you to the Holy Bible. Now join me to the book of First John chapter 4 verse 1. We will read there. So you know how to test the spirit. If the spirit is of God. First John chapter 4 verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit. But test the spirit to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. I have just read this from New International Version. If, the, if that is the scripture you are using, you can equally uh, check on King James Version. For most of you who are so conversant with King, King James Version, of course, there, there are a couple of chapters I'm going to read from King James Version as well. Okay, Now, verse 2. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. You see, one is testing if the Spirit is of God, and two, how to recognize the Spirit. Remember the quotation. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. We are done with verse 1. Now I'm going to read verse 2. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. Verse 3. But every spirit that does not acknowledge that Jesus Christ is from God, the spirit is the Antichrist, which we have heard is coming, and even now is already in the world. Alright? So, a preacher who refuses, who dismisses you that Jesus Christ did not come in flesh, that preacher is not of God. And a preacher who refuses to acknowledge Jesus Christ is not of God. All right. Now, when we look at Evangelist Ebuka Simon, we see him talking about Jesus Christ. We see him praying and mentioning Jesus Christ, which is important. That means that he accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. And he believes that Jesus Christ came in flesh. All right. That means he is from God. And when you look at other sermons, you see where he's condemning iniquities which include fornication, which include adultery, which include sex before marriage, which include dating a woman of another man, which include sleeping with another man's wife. Huh. God works miracles. I told people, when you keep the principles, what others are struggling to get will be coming to you. I made it a promise that I will never ask anybody, shish. I will never ask you to pay money to see me. Because the gift I receive, I receive freely. And freely I must give. Okay. That being said, there are three ways to test the spirit. One, the confession that Jesus Christ has come in flesh. And he is from God. Two, you are preaching what you say to people. Do you engage in what you ask people to do? And the three, your behavior outside the sermon ground. Your behavior. These are three ways to test the spirit. Okay, 
Now, most people will do all wrong, and when you catch them, they will try everything to circumvent their wrong, find a way to come out. Some people can be pompous and dogmatic in expressing their own opinion. Some people have a way to pontificate why they are in the net. Those who are in the net means people who didn't do it right, who didn't do what they preached. So they express their own opinion in a dogmatic way. They express their own opinion in a pompous way. What I am trying to pontificate here as my own opinion is, biblically, we have seen that evangelist Ebukobi is on the right track so far. Now, more references. Go to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Let us see. This time, I will use King James Version. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets who also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and they bring upon themselves swift destruction. You were bought. God bought us. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary is a price paid for our salvation. That is how God bought us. Because not many people understand this verse whenever they hear that they were bought. So you were bought. The death of Christ on the cross of Calvary bought us. And that brought us salvation. Alright? Now in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. Because we are still testing the spirit. To see where evangelist Ebukobi got it wrong. Because most people have criticized him condemn him in everything he does they condemn him let us check deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 3 are you there with me good if a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a miraculous sign or wonder and if the sign or wonder of which he has spoken takes place and he says, let us follow other gods. Gods you have not known. And let us worship them. You must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord, your God, is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul now question to the people who continue to accuse evangelist ebuka obi when has evangelist ebuka obi said to you let us not worship god let us worship other gods when has evangelist ebuka obi said to you let us undermine god undermine his existence let us go and meet a woman belonging to another man let us do this and whatever we know as sin, like Bible defined it, whatever we know as something that goes contrary against the law, let us keep Bible by the side. Let us talk about human law. Let us talk about the law that bind human together in a country. When has evangelist Ebuko be said to you, continue to break the law? Break all the laws. It doesn't matter. It is the wish of God. When has evangelist Ebuko be said to you, let us worship a sculpture. Let us go to the sea. I am going to bet you there. And after I am done, you are going to conceive a baby. When has evangelist Ebuko be said to you, Bring money. I am going to do work for you. This is a man who would always preach against all these. All these people have condemned him. All these are allegations. People 
put together, looking at one way to bring Evangelist Ebukobi down, to bring Zion Minister down. But I tell you, the more you say these lies against that, that man, the more he grows, the more God blesses him, the more the ministry expands. It's a ministry that you can find now in many areas of the world. Look at the crusade that happened a couple of days ago. You can't find a space. People from all ways of life, they attended the crusade. Miracle happened. Even without him laying hands on people. How else do you want me to pontificate or express my opinion? To clarify, to open your eyes and to help you get on the right track as a Christian. Who believes that he or she knows the truth is in the Bible. Most of you would always say, test their spirit. But you don't know how to test the spirit. Now I have given you verses where you can test the spirit. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1 to 2. You can read more down, down, down to see everything. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1. I can give you more and more i can give you more and more verses even first john chapter 2 verse 18 and the first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 go through these scriptures and understand how to test if the spirit of a man whom god is using to perform signs and wonders whom you don't know who is using to perform signs and wonders. The Bible, the scriptures will guide you. The quotations will guide you. And if read through them to understand the truth. Read through them. Now monitor evangelist Ebuka Obi henceforth. Compare him with others if you wish. And you will see that the difference is clear. Remember to subscribe to this channel. And it shall be well with you, especially when you share the link of this video with your friends on all your social media platforms. God will continue to bless you. Because you come to seek knowledge and the truth. God will give you understanding and the wisdom. And it shall be well with you and the members of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to you in peace. And I am leaving you now in peace. And you are going to hear from me in my next video. Remain blessed. I love you. I love you. I love you, my audience. I love you, my viewers. I love you. But God loves you.